so much, Patrick. Um, my name is Jen Zemke. I'm co-founder of the International Network of Crisis Mappers. And we'd like to welcome you to the third annual ICCM event. It's really good to see all of you here. This year's ICCM would not have been possible at all without our excellent co-hosts and sponsors, the ICT for Peace Foundation and the Joint Research Center of the European Commission. We want to thank them for their unwavering support and leadership over this past year. We specifically want to thank Daniel, Sanjana, and Barbara from ICT for Peace, and Dalila, Tom, and Christina from the Joint Research Center for being outstanding partners over the past year. Barbara Weeks in particular deserves special mention for carrying a lot of the heavy burden of conference organization over the past year. So thank you very much, Barbara, for all of your help. We also would really like to thank our primary donor for this event, the Swiss government, for providing a large portion of the funding as well as our other important donors and partners, including ESRI, the World Bank, and John Carroll University. I'd also like to thank the video and editing team, Bill Myers and Tom Wynandy, for the third year in a row of excellent service and work in support of the conference series. This year, the World Bank funded three Crisis Mappers Fellows from Togo, Liberia, and the Sudan. This was a highly competitive fellowship. So could our ICCM 2011 fellows please stand up if you're here? I invite everyone to connect with Kofi, Luther, and Samia over the next two days. They're really outstanding fellows. So please join me in thanking and applauding our co-hosts, our partners, our supporters, and our fellows. I want to tell you a little bit more about tomorrow and what to expect. So tomorrow we have self-organized sessions, and many of you have already created wonderful topics that you can see on the spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will be projected in areas around the building, but you still have a chance to add additional self-organized sessions if something emerges over the course of this day that you'd like to talk about tomorrow. And how to do that is just go outside into the lobby and write down on the, these large flip charts what you'd like to suggest, and we'll be sure to put those on the screen for you tomorrow. Um, there's so much that we want to accomplish at the self-organized sessions, and it's really the place where we get to roll up our sleeves and get a lot of this important work done. So we hope you really take the opportunity to uh, help ensure and help ensure all of us have the kind of trajectory and history and learning that needs to take place sort of institutionalized within these fields. I mean, it's difficult to explain, but not all 3,000 of our stakeholders can be present at one meeting. Um, and so since we all can't be in the same room at the same time, and many of us will want to go to many different self-organized sessions that are held concurrently and overlap, what we really need is to make sure that the leaders of those self-organized sessions have note takers, um, that can sign, you know, stand up shared Google spreadsheets and documents where we can collectively start taking notes. You know, feel free to post this information on the Crisis Mappers Google group and use the network and the website the way that you would like. And please let Patrick and I know how we can best facilitate a continuing conversation along those lines. So note takers should be there as well as um, someone who will be reporting out the brief to the plenary session, a brief summary of what happened during the event, so we all get to hear something. Um, these conversations that we have over the next two days are really important in developing the new emergent field of crisis mapping. We'd also like to have each of you be sure to take the unique opportunity to meet someone new here. I know a lot of us have our old friends and we want to sit and, and say hello to them, but make an effort to really reach out and sit next to someone that you don't know at lunch or dinner. Lastly, we're excited to announce that ICCM 2012 next year, next fall, will be held in Washington, D.C., in partnership with the World Bank and the GFDRR Labs. And so we very much look forward to seeing you all in Washington next year. But for now, let's make this year's ICCM the best one yet. We also look forward to an engaging back channel on Twitter, so please be sure you're using the hashtag ICCM. And be sure, if you haven't already, to silence your phones as well. Uh, thank you.